The Ulfberts A group of medieval swords found within Europe, dating between the 9th and 11th centuries. The blade faces are inlaid with the inscription Ulfbert with a cross on either side. The word turns out to have been a Frankish personal name. It somehow has become the basis logo, a trademark of sorts, used by multiple bladesmiths for several centuries in their impressive attempts to make the hardest, most impressive swords of the era. About 100 to 170 Ulfbert swords are known to exist, yet the origins of the name remain somewhat of an enigma. However, we dare to postulate that the name may have originated with, with this sword in particular. A sword which these bladesmiths may have been attempting to replicate and indeed figure out how it was made. A Nova National Geographic documentary titled Secrets of the Viking Sword, which first aired in 2012, actually took a look at this enigmatic sword's metallurgical composition. The Ulfbert sword has almost no slag content within its composition, and it has a carbon content three times that of other metals of the time. Carbon found to be a great addition in strengthening steel, creating a metal known as crucible steel. A critical discovery, something which made England famous some 800 years after this sword's creation. In the process of forging iron, the ore must be heated to 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This will bring the metal to a liquid molten state, allowing blacksmiths to reduce impurities called slag. However, medieval technology did not allow iron to be heated to such a high temperature. Thus, the slag was removed by pounding it out, a far less effective method. Modern blacksmith Richard Furrer of Wisconsin spoke to Nova about the difficulties of making such a sword. Furrer is described in the documentary as one of the few people on the planet who has the skills needed to try to reproduce the Ulfbert by hand. To do it right, it is the most complicated thing I know how to make, he said. He commented on how the Ulfbert maker would have been regarded as possessing magical powers. To be able to make a weapon from dirt is a pretty powerful thing, he said. But to make a weapon at this time within history that could bend such without breaking stay so sharp and weigh so little, would be regarded as supernatural. Furrer spent days of continuous, painstaking work forging a similar sword. He used medieval technology, although it required highly unconventional ways, never before suspected or documented. The tiniest flaw or mistake, turning the sword into a piece of scrap metal. He declared his success at the end as more relief than joy. Who was the maker of this sword? How did they know how to make it? The mystery surrounding this out-of-place artifact persists to this day. We have long conjectured that many ancient ruins found throughout the world are not what they seem, attributed to groups within known and permitted history. We feel, however, that the evidence to suggest that they were, in fact, relics of an as-yet unearthed advanced civilization is now overwhelming. Many sites we cover escape modern understanding or explanation. Gigantic multi-ton megaliths, often somehow mysteriously quarried and transported from quarry sites sometimes hundreds of miles away from where we find them today. Such realities are undeniable, and the lack of any explanation as to how our more primitive ancient ancestors accomplished such tasks, we feel remains elusive due to said site's origins actually being a far more capable, far more progressive, now lost civilization, who were clearly once capable of such incredible feats. However, although many sites are often attributed to what we perceive were mere re-inhabitants and the archaeological footprint that they left behind, excavated and permitted to be studied in depth, pinned as the creators of said sites. However, the relic we are focusing on in the following video, an ancient artifact left by those who possibly created the site itself. Majorca, a favorite with holiday makers, yet alas, what many do not pursue while on the island is the inexplicable stone megaliths which litter its tropical shores. Academically attested as a 3200-year-old relic, we feel, however, that the sword, although clearly of a remarkable preservation, is in fact far older than this, 
and those who have investigated the site and said relic have concluded that the only possible origin of this incredible object was that of a now lost yet once highly advanced ancient civilization. Now known as the Taliot Sword, it is an astonishing ancient weapon, once somehow made far within antiquity, created to incredibly high standards, and we feel the reason the sword has survived so long is merely testament to the quality of the sword and indeed the past abilities of its creator. Recently discovered by a team of experts digging at the archaeological site known as Talio de Seralda Se Abelis, found within Puig Poyent, a municipality on Mallorca. The site is comprised of several stone megaliths, which are claimed to date back anywhere from 1000 to 6000 BC. We however hypothesize that the sword is far older than even these unusually generous academically dated estimates. The sword was found near one of the stone megaliths, known locally as a taliot, hence the sword's name. Built by the mysterious Taliotic culture, which we feel is the name given to lost civilization that many funded individuals continue to try and dismiss, claiming that it was located within permitted timelines. Labeled by some as the Spanish Excalibur, it is undoubtedly an incredible artifact and one which sheds precious light upon the capabilities of a now lost civilization. Work is now underway at the site and is pegged to continue for the next few decades. Initially explored by historian and archaeologist Guillaume Bordoy in the 1950s, it was in mid-September, as the researchers were readying the museum at the site, that the team found the sword. Who made the Taliot sword? How old are the megalithic sites upon the island of Majorca? Are we looking at an artifact left by a now lost civilization? We find the evidence to suggest such highly compelling.